In this episode, I talk about friends who have turned their lives around. Welcome to episode 133 of the Honest Entrepreneur Show, where I help creatives like you to master your marketing. My name's Tom Ross, and let's get into it. Guys, I'm excited because we're finally starting to conceive of a proper little film studio backdrop area here. So I know I've been saying this forever for all you YouTube viewers out there, but literally we're getting lists, we're buying furniture, it's going to start to finally come together partly because this white backdrop makes me look pasty AF. This question is from Alicia. I'm always inspired by a good transformation story. You've previously mentioned a friend who had grand ideas but rarely executed, and that friend eventually switched from dreamer to doer. Do you have any other good designer transformation stories? Hey, Alicia. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of them, to be honest. I actually really enjoy surrounding myself with people that have transformed themselves in some kind of way, that have kind of gone through the odds or found their success, whatever you want to call it. Um, I find it more inspiring. I think it's actually a more common narrative. There's not that many people who get a trust fund or a silver spoon or anything like that. Most people have to work for it. I personally find that very inspiring. So the uh, the first one that springs to mind is my buddy Dustin, Dustin Lee from Retro Supply, who I do my other podcast, The Honest Designers Show with. He literally went from like a guy in a band with a self-admitted drinking problem who was getting in a ton of debt, was, you know, borderline in all this poverty and, and not terribly happy in life from everything he tells me he literally had that moment of like snapping himself out of that he had a kid on the way he was starting to panic about providing for his family um, and he used that as a catalyst to fundamentally change his life so he went and learned internet marketing he started making digital products he started working super hard he pretty quickly quit his job and he basically turned his life on its head and i hear those stories over and over and over again and I'll give you a brief insight into my youth, but I actually, um, I had a moment like that when I was about 10 years old and it wasn't professionally, but I'd gone through a bit of a hard time. My grandmother had passed away and she was kind of like a second mum to me and I'd gone a bit more introverted than my, my inherent nature. And so I was like seven years old or something. Uh, seven or eight years old and I had a year or two of being like way more shy um, and reticent about things and then almost overnight I (laughs) I remember this was a weird thing for a kid to do but I walked home um, and said to my parents like I am just going to change all of this like basically overnight I'm going to sort it out Um, and then I I went in and I made friends with the guy who's now my best friend uh, in the world he's his best man for my wedding um, at the time, he was like one of the real cool kids at school, which was kind of funny because I was just a shy kid at this point. Um, made a bunch of friends at school, got my first girlfriend uh, for the win. <laughs> I was like 10 years old. Um, and it literally, it, it com- completely changed my school life. You know, I became much more sociable and really, um, you know, fell in with some good groups and had like one of the best years of my life at that point as a kid. And it really was like an overnight switch. It went from like being one way to being the other way. And as much as I'm a believer in like one foot in front of the other, um, whether it's something in your life or your career, uh, your creative talents, whatever it might be. Yes, it's like keep grinding and keep going. But at the same time, I think there's nothing wrong with that jolt of electricity, that catalyst in life where you're like, shit, I just need to get my stuff together. Um, I had a similar thing actually with my career where it was out of college and I just had this lightning bolt moment of, holy crap, I, I'm not going to be able to live with my dad forever. And actually the rest of my life is on me and no one else. I'm not going to get any support from anyone else. That might sound very obvious, but for me, it was a real moment of revelation where I was like, oh shit, I need to get down to work. And almost overnight, I just started learning the work ethic, which many of you guys know me for now. But before that, you know, I, I definitely wasn't the hardest working person. So um Yeah, I know tons of people, myself included. And if you're someone who is kind of needing that next phase, try and find something that's your catalyst, whether it's a a reframing of your mindset, whether it's like something that you're scared of. For me, it was like, oh crap, I don't want to be a bum for the rest of my life. Um, 
or it's like a goal that you want to aim for that's really going to motivate you whatever it takes try and jolt that catalyst moment in your own life because it really can set you on an entirely new path question of the day have you ever experienced a moment like this in your life where you've kind of taken control and turned things around Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm really enjoying the YouTube show. If you are too, then be sure to hit the subscribe icon and tick the little bell to get notifications when I post new content on this platform.